Psalm chapter 110, a Psalm of David, clearly seeing the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord said unto my Lord, the Lord speaking to the Lord, sit thou at my right hand, there's Jesus, where Jesus is today. Until I make thy enemies thy footstool. It's Jehovah speaking to the Son. Now let's look at Isaiah chapter 44, verse 6. It's God the Father talking to God the Son, Lord. Isaiah 44, 6. Thus saith the Lord, the King capital of, of Israel, his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first, I am the last, the Alpha and Omega. Now I am not much into the Hebrew and Greek, but when Hebrew and Greek needs to be applied and the application, that is Yahweh, the first Lord and the second Lord. What am I looking at getting at? The Jehovah Witnesses say that Jesus Christ is not God. Yahweh, Lord, I don't use Hebrew and all, the King, capital K. Do you know who said that? Yeah, I know the Holy Spirit. I know Isaiah. No, but you know who said that? King of Israel. You know who said that? Pilate said that. When he wrote the acquisition above the head of Jesus on, on the cross. The king of the Jews. The Roman government has more sense of the Holy Spirit inspir uh, inspiration than the Jehovah Witness. The Lord... That's Jehovah said unto my Lord, there is a son. How do you know? Sit down at my right hand. Who is at the right hand of, of Jehovah today? Now, if, you, if you're not much into a battle and you don't study your Bible, you don't read your Bible, when they come to your door to say, scram, get out of here. You can have some tracks about Jehovah Witnesses by your door. They might take them. Me, I chew them up. When my wife Tracy was living, she's sick of them. I sick of them. I got video. I die. I wouldn't let them get... Thomas said, my Lord, my God, Jesus said, I and the Father are one. No, 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 shut up. I'm, I'm quoting the Bible to you. Shut up. You need to listen. You came to my door, and you brought the accusation that Jesus is not God. I'm bringing you what the Bible says. You come to the wrong door. And then when they come to my driveway, they see my car is loaded with bumper stickers. They see that there's a sign in the front yard that Jesus is is God, and they see my front door is loaded with, with uh, bumper stickers from cars. They're asking for a battle, and they got the wrong junkyard dog. I never bring them in the house. I do it right on the driveway. I chew them up. And, hey, listen, I've been at their halls. They were out one time. They were out there having a, a cleanup party, and, and I was out there preaching with a megaphone. I was over there at their compound over here by, uh, in Daytona Beach. I had them threaten to call the cops on me, and it's on video of YouTube. Go look it up. They were going to call the cops on me because I was coming to their front gate. Imagine. Jehovah Witnesses threaten to call the cops. Man. The Lord, Jehovah, said unto my Lord, Jesus, sit thou at my right hand, Jesus, 
until I make thy enemies thy footstool, wait until the second advent. The Lord shall send the rod of the strength out of Zion. There's Jesus Christ. Rule thou in the midst of thy enemies. There's Jesus Christ. Revelation 19. Thy people, there's the Jews, shall be willing in the day of thy power. They're not willing today. They were not willing when he came the first time. And in the beauty of thy holiness. What's Isaiah 53 say? There's no beauty. They should desire it. There's beauty when we when we get saved and trust on him. But there's no beauty of Jesus when he gets saved. And there's a beauty of Jesus when he comes back. Not to the goat nation. And the sheep nations don't really understand what, what's going to happen yet. But to the nation of Israel, the beauty of here is the Messiah. Now the sheep nations are going to be like, all right, put you guys over here, put the goat nations over here. Goat nations, you go off to hell. Sheep nations, you, you took care of me, you visited me in prison, you, you took care of me on sick, you gave me food when I was hungry. They're like, what? They're standing before God. They're standing before Jesus Christ and they're like, when were you in prison? Uh, God, we can say God, if we're not Jehovah's Witnesses. When were you hungry? And Jesus is going to say, when you did it unto the least of my brethren, you did it unto me. Jesus told Paul when he persecuted Christians, why persecute thou me, Paul? You better watch what you say and do about a man of God. Or the nation of Israel. Because God takes it personally. Yes it bothers me street preach. But pretty much it doesn't bother me. Because I know they're not doing it to me. They're doing it to God. And one day when they stand at the great white throne judgment. I'll be standing behind God. Like. Giving account. Jesus didn't come in beauty. When he came the first time. For the nation of Israel. The holiness from the womb of the morning. Thou hast the dew of thy youth. And that's pure water. That's water in the purest form. The Lord has sworn an oath. And will not repent. He repented a couple of times when the nation of Israel was in the wilderness. I'm going to wipe them out, Moses. And the Lord repented of the evil he was going to do. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Hebrews 5, 6, 6, 20, 7, 21, and 17. That's that priest that showed up to Abraham before the law. That's that strange character that had neither mother nor father, nor a beginning. Now he's not the Son of God. He's not Jesus Christ. He's like the Son of God. He's not. He's one of them strange characters in the Bible. Like Elijah, he just shows up. Hi. And then Abraham gives him a tent. And there's someone better than Melchizedek. Jesus Christ. Second Advent. The Lord at thy right hand. Look at that. Capital L, small O, small R, small D. The Lord at thy right hand. That's Jesus. Shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. There's the second element. Why is he capital L and small O, small R, small D? Because he's not the Lord of the Lords of those that hate God. He's the they, Revelation 19 says he, he has a name. They don't even know who the name is. But he himself. See, there's a difference. There's two places in the Bible. 
and proclaims one place as Jesus is Lord. Not the unsaved man. And then there's a place that says Jesus is the Lord. That's for me that's saved. For those that are saved, Jesus is the Lord. What about the unsaved? Well, Jesus is the Lord. Well, who's another Lord? Baseball teams, football teams, political opponents, uh, movie stars, anything. There's a big difference. Who, he's coming back as who, who's the Lord of the enemies that get trampled by Jesus Christ? The Antichrist. Those are the people wearing the mark of the beast. Those are the ones been serving the Antichrist. They're cast off in the, into hell. Second advert, verse 5, verse 6. He shall judge among the heathen. That's the nation. The goat. He shall fill the places with dead bodies. Revelation 19. He's not coming back as that baby any longer. He's coming back as a lion of the tribe of Judah. And you know what pictures? Pictures that, that prophet that did not listen to God. I don't want you to go back to Bethlehem. I don't want you to eat. I don't want you to drink. And since you disobeyed me, you're going to go and a lion's going to come and he's going to tear you in pieces. And when they found the prophet, there's his ass, there's a lion, and there's a dead body. That's not typical of lions. They eat the body. Jesus Christ comes. He's not eating the bodies. He's destroying them, killing them. Why? Disobedience against what God said. Eating and drinking in a place where they ought not to be eating and drinking. He says in the book of Revelation, come out of her. Of course, you've studied that, I hope. And he shall wound the heads over many countries. There are many countries coming. Or will be in the tribulation period. And many of those nations will be destroyed by Jesus Christ. It's plain and simple. It, uh, I mean, where's America going to be in this? I don't know. I don't even know if America's going to be around. I don't care. Because I'll be on the other side of Jesus. I'm going up in the rapture. And the, the nations will be divided among the sheep, those that help the Jews, and the goats, those who persecute the Jews. He, God, shall drink of the brook in the way. I don't know. And therefore shall he lift up the head. And that expression is in the Bible. Joseph, he lifted up his head out of prison. Uh, the last king of Judah, when he went to Babylon, he lifted up his head. It's bring him back to order. He's going to put that nation of Israel back in charge again. They're sure not in charge in Jacob's troubles. 